Hey, good afternoon. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do this two-to-one exhaust on this sweet Dodge Ram that we got. Uh, mine's a 2002-2003 flavor. Hey, hopefully you guys will uh, give me a subscribe for this. I do a lot of neat tricks. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any real tricks I'm showing you in this video, but I do do a lot of them, so subscribe, click the notifications, share my videos, send me comments, like my videos. If you got a question about your automotive needs, you can hit me up on Facebook under Clay's AC and Auto Repair. I can help you with your car, but I can't help you with your baby mama drama. So I wanted to talk about exhaust this morning. Um, you got a couple different ways of putting exhaust together. You probably know all of them, maybe with the exception of them right there, which is something that I've been using for a number of years now. Uh, in this particular situation, we're going to end up welding it, but I wanted to talk to you about the clamps. So a lot of you guys will clamp these exhausts down with these sweet clamps that they give you. Uh, we're not going to use these. We're actually going to weld this one. Um, I highly recommend not using these, but these only cost about a dollar, and these are about nine dollars a piece, maybe even ten. And in this particular situation, I believe we'd need about eight of them to put this exhaust on. So we're going to weld it up because we really don't like using these. We are going to use these as the hanger holders, uh, but we're not going to use them to clamp the exhaust together. Now, these are what are called Torca Easy Clamps. They're made of stainless steel. They basically just wrap around like a band. They have different sizes like, you know, two inches, two and a quarter, two and a half, three inch, blah, 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 so forth and so on. The great thing about these is you don't have to do any welding and you can reuse these if you reuse them in the right situ in the in the same situation i use these all the time never use these and very seldomly do we weld them in this particular situation this is a flowmaster 44 series we bought this kit off of ebay uh decent kit everything came with it from here back you know the tips the hangers uh, all of this stuff it was about 200 mine was about 250 because I didn't spend a lot of time looking and I found them for about 225 um, Is that is that a value? I don't know I I went down to the exhaust shop because I don't have a pipe bender in my shop uh, And they wanted like $500 to make me one of these so I thought that was a little bit extravagant So we're just gonna go we just went ahead and bought this pre-cut thing um, on ours We're actually gonna cut it and angle it off so looks a little bit cooler than just straight pipes coming out the back these tips have to be welded on if you're buying this kit from ebay uh, but the kit is numbered pretty simple installation um, we ended up buying a couple extra pieces and this is an original factory piece that we took off of the original exhaust system so we got that and we'll weld all that together and put it up inside there okay so you know it wasn't too much to show you guys um and wasn't really too much to show you about welding on the brackets we welded them on you could have used one of the u-clamps that came with the kit and you could have used some self-tapping bolts for your hangers here um one of the the things i need to point out is in your rear you want to make sure that you measure down from your bumper to your tips and have an assistant help you or put the jack up underneath the exhaust to hold it so it's it's got the right amount of depth now we're cutting off the end of the tips so we can tune the exhaust because you're gonna when you put on the exhaust tips like we got here we can tune it in and out and i think most of this could be done at home and save you a couple hundred bucks and the only thing that you're going to need if you purchase this particular kit is somebody to tack weld these on here and you could have used the supplied clamps to put the exhaust together and stuff like that we wanted ours a little bit cleaner and a little bit more rugged and we'll probably end up painting most of this. So I'm not going to show you that on the video. But the exhaust turned out perfect. I mean, it sounds excellent. Uh, now, of course, like I said, I think I said it earlier in the video, this engine has a little bit of uh, JPC tuning to it. And we did some stuff with the intake and stuff like that. So it has a little bit more horsepower than most of these do. We do a lot of these motors here in the shop. So... This was one of our first attempts on having a little bit of performance to it. And it did turn out very well. I've driven several 4.7s, and this is a big truck moving a lot of mass. It's 
actually works really well. It's not quite as powerful as the Hemi, even though we think we bring it up to about a 5.1 liter. So we're gonna go ahead and finish cutting off our, our end of our exhaust pipes. You're gonna generally need a helper if you're using a Sawzall like us, and even if you're using a handsaw. So Jeff's gonna go ahead and finish cutting that off for us. It's a little bit hard at the end when it's starting to go, so you're gonna apply pressure upwards on it, and then that'll allow it not to move around and vibrate as much. It's a little bit radical. Try not to pull the pipe apart. Try not to pull the pipe apart and not push it too much on him. Then he can't do it. Okay, so we put some marks on our pipe there and we're gonna line it up with that. But we're gonna still have to eyeball it back here and hold it up with the marks on the side of the pipe marked around the pipe on the outside here it'll give whoever's welding it a spot to tack it at and also tell you if it's straight and parallel or not vertical and horizontal so we'll give it a couple tacks on both sides we'll actually do each one of them and with just tack welds we can actually move it later if we have to so we're not going to go send it all the way home with the welding ring so to make sure both sides are the same we're obviously going to take a tape measure and we're going to measure down from the top to there and then when we go to tack this one down we'll do the same thing so using the inner part of this framework right here for our hitch we could measure from there to there but at the very least we can eyeball it to make sure the two distances are the same Right now, the palm of my hand, and that they, they touch where they don't hear, so. And before we send it home, we'll go ahead and make our up and down measurement again, and in our case, it's one and three quarters. So we got her all installed. Jeff's cleaned the welds off. We're gonna go ahead and throw some black paint on it came out pretty well with the exception of the tips uh, we already know I'm carpentry challenged yeah it sounds good we're a little bit goofy right there and there we're gonna have to do a little bit these tips are a pain in the butt but we can do a little bit of moving and stuff and get it get it exactly where we want it give it a little bit Hopefully you guys dig the video uh, and subscribe to my page, click the notifications. Remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. You can even mess up just like uh, we did here. So God bless you guys. If you got to get a message to me, hit me up on Facebook under Clay's AC and Auto Repair. Like my videos, share my videos, subscribe, click the notifications, all that jazz. Have a great day.